Do you have change for a five dollar note? Uh, yeah, I'll have a look for you. How to go from famous internet hero to infamous internet villain in just a week. Do you have change for a five dollar bill? I just um, need some change. Yeah. That's yeah. the five? Yeah, hey, man. Yeah, I uh, really, yeah. The thieves in your video yeah. are actors. Yeah, right. Is that right? I mean, no, that's not right. Yeah, they are. Just over seven days ago, everything was going great for Adelaide's Adrian G. He was well on his way to becoming a professional international YouTuber, earning money from his online videos and getting traditional media exposure. And then this happened. That's just creepy, dude. I think we're done. That's, no, seriously, that's just creepy. Why do you do that? That's when the Adrian G is a fake story took on a life of its own quickly racking up hundreds of thousands of views all around the world. Adrian G's fans turning on him. I think it's stupid. I think it's dumb. Our story made New York Magazine, The Washington Post, Perez Hilton. It was number two on online site Reddit. It made news sites in Europe and Twitter light up. By Thursday night, Adrian and his offsider Matt Tiri, who originally claimed to be the cameraman for Adrian, but is now denying it, were in full damage control, trying to get sympathy at the same time as hanging tough. Should we go on today tonight with a sequel? <laughs> should we should, should we apologize? Should we confess everything? We have nothing to confess, but should we just <laughs> pretend to confess something and then troll them? They even attacked my family. I'm gonna be Rodney. Oh uh, you're Rodney, okay. okay. So some of the content content that he puts up You're a fake! Um goes, You're a fake! You can just, you're a grub! Um, Come on, I wanna put you up! I wanna put you up. Come um, on, what do you got to say? I your wife You're a fake! I your wife last night. <laughs> but we can now reveal the blind honesty test is far from the only fake thing about Adrian G. For starters, he lives in the southern suburbs of Adelaide, not Melbourne or LA, as his online profiles suggest. He's admitted this clip too was staged. <laughs> as were others. Here's an ad looking for girls to be in another video with offers of a cash payment for participation. Over the weekend, we understand Adrian has tried to contain the spread of his reputation for faking videos by having videos claiming he's a fraud pulled by exercising copyright over the content. By the way, um, with that video, the exposed video, there's, it will probably be up for a while, but there's also a chance <laughs> it may be removed. So what is the real harm Adrian has done? Well, it's to the Adelaide actors he made out to be thieves. We can tell you at least one has suffered real psychological damage and is now being treated for depression and panic attacks. They're making such a massive deal out of this. They're making a massive deal as though, like, no one's ever faked a video on the internet before. This is YouTube, like... Get over it, basically.